Done. Hello everyone, my name is Karina Martuita. I'm from Chicharacasi Junior High School, Samarinda. And today I'll tell you a story about Mamulu from Southeast Sulawesi. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there was this boy called Lamulu. Lamulu lived in a poor family with his father. Long time ago, when Lamulu was a little baby, his mom sadly passed away. Now, Lamulu and his father are trying to find something to eat. But every day, they couldn't find anything. So Lamulu decided to go fishing. But every day, he couldn't find a single fish. He was about to give up, but he's patient. In the afternoon, when Lamulu was fishing, his hooks start to vibrate, which indicate there is a fish. With a happy heart, Lamulu pulled the hook slowly. The closer he got, the, his heart pumped. He caught a tiny little fish. He was so happy though, that he ran to his father. Dad, look! I got a little fish! The father was so proud. Good job, son. I'm very proud of you. The father was so proud, but he realized the fish was too small, so they couldn't eat it. But the father told the son, Son, I think you should put the fish in a little jar so you can feed it every day. The son agreed, so he put the fish in the jar. Hello? The next day, when Lamolo came to check on the fish, the fish was bigger than the jar. He was so surprised. It was only one day. The father was also confused. So he told the son, Son, maybe you should put the fish in a bigger jar. The son agreed. So the next day, when Lamolo came to check on the fish, the fish was bigger than the jar. He was so surprised. Even the father as well. He decided maybe you should put it in a drum. Son, maybe put the fish in a drum. The son agreed. So he put the fish in a drum. Look. The next day, when Lamulu came to check on the fish, the fish was bigger than the drum. He was super surprised. The father told the son, Son, maybe you should put the fish back to the river. The son agreed. But before but before the son put the fish back to the water, he told the fish something. I promise you something. I'll give you a nickname. I'll name you... Um, the fish agreed. So he let the fish go. Now every day, the boy would call the fish's name. The fish would come to the shore and... Lamulu would feed it. One day, there were these three young men. The three young men would, are relative to this boy and would always stop this boy's activities. When they saw the boy had a big fish, they decided to take it. They called out one of the three young men called out the fish's name. The fish came but not close to the shore because the face is not the same as its owner. And the voice is not the same as his master. The three young men were so angry and so annoyed. They take the fish and then cut it into pieces and put it in the basket. The next day, when Namulu came outside to call the fish's name, the fish didn't come. Called it three times, but still not yet come. He was so upset. Then he came to his house. The next day, when Lamulu came running around the house, he saw that the three young men were eating something. It was like a big cooked fish. Lamulu asked the three young men, Where did you get the fish? The three young men said, We found it on the river. It was a big fish. Lamulu knew it was his fish. He started holding back his tears. The three young men even invited him to eat with them but they only give him a papaya leaf. Lamulu came running around crying back to his house. The next day, when Lamulu came outside, he took the bones of the fish that they threw away and then planted in front of his house. The next day, when he came outside, 
The mullah saw there was a tree with a golden stem, silver leaf, diamond flowers, and diamonds. He was so shocked, but he didn't know what to do with it, so he just came back to his house. Then the next day, the tree grew bigger. It was just like his fish. He decided to sell it. He's helping people now and also give the money to his family members even though it took his fish. Now he's rich and live happily with his father. The end. Thank you for listening.